Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Hannah for those of you who doesn't know that. And today I'm doing another tag. And it's called the 20 questions book tag. And I will link the original video down below if I can find it. And without further ado, let's just get into the questions. <laughs> so the first question is, how many books is too many books in a book series? So for me, to be honest, um, as long as like the plot is really good, growing and going forward and so does the characters. I don't care how many books there are. It can be two, it can be three, it can be twenty if the cast is growing and the plot is exciting and growing. I don't care how many books there are then. But if the book is boring or gets like boring at some point, I won't be motivated to read the other books. Number two, how do you feel about cliffhangers? <laughs> so to be honest, uh, if I have the next book, I don't care about the cliffhangers. But if I like have to wait almost a year, I will. It will really bother me. But I don't really care if there is like a good cliffhanger that makes me really think. 3. Hard copy or paperback? Um, I usually have paperbacks because they are less expensive and um, yeah, since I live in Norway, if I order from outside of Norway, I really need to buy cheaper books because if I buy two expensive books, then I need to pay to even get them in my hands. So, four favorite book. Uh, so I don't really know what's my fa like total favorite book. Um, but yeah, it's really hard to kind of know what my very favorite book is. But I kind of... I have two options because I totally can't decide. And it's rather Illuminate by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff or The Hunger Games by Susan Collins. This is totally a new favorite, but this one is really like an old favorite I have loved since I first read the series. So, yeah. Six, L no, five, least favorite book. Uh, I will have to say Tempting the Beast. That is like the worst book I have read until now. I mean, it wasn't the plot or like the story itself. It was kind of, it just got too much for me to enjoy it. Six, love triangles, yes or no? I would usually say no, but sometimes a love triangle kind of can be written kind of good, but then it have to be like really special books because I usually don't like love tri triangles. Seven, the most recent book you just couldn't finish. So I usually finish books, at least when there are like... If I don't like it, I will just read some more to see if I will enjoy it further or not. But yeah. I don't remember the last book I didn't finish. Eight, a book you're currently reading. So for my 
currently reading for the moment is The Gilded Wolves by Rosanna Chokshi. And I haven't gotten so far, but yeah, further thoughts, thoughts will come. Um, nine, last book you recommended to someone. So that was actually not so long ago. I recommended Illuminae. And that is because I really enjoy this series and she really needs something that is going forward. The only problem is it's a huge chunk of a book. It's all 600 pages and she doesn't like long books. But... I mean... It might be 600 pages but there aren't like way too many words in it, so... 10. Oldest book you read by publication date. So that actually is um, The Born Identity by Robert Ludlum. Ludlum. And in this book, it says it's from 1980. So that's kind of far. This is like, I have read it, but I don't remember anything from it, so I just know I read it. Number 11. Newest book you read by publication date. And that is A Very Large Expanse of Sea by Tahara Mafi. I haven't read anything newer than that. At least not finished it, so. 12. Favorite... <coughs> 12. Favorite author. Um, to be honest, I have loads of favorite authors. I haven't, like, found my total favorite, where, like, everything I read is something I like. I haven't found that yet. <laughs> But I hope to read more from like one author to see if I like like that author or not. Thirteen, buying books or borrowing books. I usually buy books because the library don't have enough English books and I kind of hate to read Norwegian books, sometimes at least. So I usually buy them. 14. A book you dislike that everyone else seems to love. For this one, I have to say The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. I mean, I gave this, I think, three stars, so it's not bad, but I didn't, like, enjoy it as much as everyone else. I feel like everyone is, like, giving it five stars, and four and five stars, and... I just didn't enjoy it that much, but I mean, maybe I will read it in the future sometime and sometimes and enjoy it more. I don't know. Fifteen bookmark or dog ears bookmarks. I never dog ear my books anymore. Sixteen a book you can always read read. So this kind of isn't a book, it's a series and it has to be the whole Hunger Games series because I just really really love them. They are so dear to my heart and I can always reread them. Never gets old, never get tired of them. 17. Can you read while hearing music? That really depends on what I'm hearing. <laughs> because if I listen to music that I really love with text that I can, I will sing with. And then I'm not reading. So, <laughs> 18. One POV or multiple POVs. I can like both, but if like a book has multiple POVs that are so well written, I just love that book. 
but some people have like one POV and it's really good so I like both 19 do you read a book in one sitting or over multiple days that really depends on the book I mean I can't like read Game of Thrones in one sitting even though I haven't really read that one yet but like 300 400 page books they easily go down in can go in a day but I never like read them in one sitting so 20 who do you tag if you want to do this tag I tag you so yeah if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more videos and I will see you next time bye